So we're gonna be covering the LA Auto Show next week. What are we expecting to see in terms of the announcements from the OEMs, uh, starting with safety? One of the biggest safety demonstrations that we will see at the LA Show next week is from Volvo. They are running some demonstrations of their new XC60 SUV around the parking lot and in the greater environs of the convention center where engineers can demonstrate exactly how the SUV can break and make other safety determinations in a variety of obstacles as it's making its way. So in terms of design, one of the things that we're gonna be exploring is how this increasing level of autonomy of vehicles will actually affect the sort of way that cars have always been designed. What do you think we're gonna see in that area? We're going to see a lot of exciting things when it comes to how designers are planning on configuring the interior cabins for the next generation of autonomous vehicles. Of course, interior design is going to play a more important role as cars develop the greater ability to drive themselves because passengers will be able to do other things rather than focus on driving. We'll get a glimpse at some of the early concepts that designers are throwing out there for how cars could actually be in the next five to 10 years. Some ones that I'm looking forward to seeing are the BMW iVision Dynamics. Apparently that one has a roof that's entirely glass that goes from the windshield to the rear. And the idea is that all of the passengers in the cabin have, and they have an equally good view. This is also the first time that Volkswagen is bring all, bringing all three of its ID generation vehicles together in North America. Those come in various sizes, they're all electric, and they have increasingly uh, sophisticated autonomous capabilities. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I had joked with you over email about a famous scene from Total Recall where, you know, you've got the inside of the car and the bad guys are in this chase, but, you know, the seats are kind of configurable and you're sliding around to different computer screens. So what do you think we're going to see in terms of what's going to be deployable and happening upcoming in the next year or two in terms of autonomous vehicles and connected cars? The most sophisticated production car that we'll see from an autonomous perspective will be from Audi. They're going to premiere the fourth generation of their A8 sedan. Now, their last generation of the A8 is the first and only level three autonomous vehicle on the market. So it has the most self-driving capabilities of any other car right now. And the fourth generation, which we'll see next week for the first time, will build upon that. And it'll be interesting to see how far exactly Audi is able to take that. Awesome. Well, Jacqueline, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, next week and working with you at the show and uh, have a great Thanksgiving break. Bye.